Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Storm and I'm Dennis and today what we're going to do is set up a WordPress website on the domain that we showed in the previous videos. If you haven't seen the previous video uh, that I'm doing in the PLAS series you can go back and look at either one of the first two and catch you up to speed where we're at now but if you have just what we're going to do whatever name that you set up the main name, I need you to type that in. When I say cotson.xyz, you just substitute your name instead. So I'm going to go to cotson.xyz colon 8443. This should be our first time going into this. As you can tell, it says this or your connection isn't private and what we need to do now is just type in this is unsafe and it will spin it up as you can tell and we'll come into this particular login page for Plask and just use the admin as a username and whatever passcode you set up in the previous video and click login as you can tell, it brings me into the Plask uh, control panel, the main page. And you can tell I got a domain, cotson.xyz, set up. But that is all I have set up at this time. We don't have any records or mail or anything else set up. So what we're going to do is it's real easy to set up a WordPress instance on anything you know domain through Plask they make it very simple and <clears throat> you can actually go to install WordPress click it and as you can tell it'll bring you to this little section we'll leave the general path like it is website title you could put anything you want here I'm gonna put Dakota my son themes of course they got a list of themes that you could download or you could wait and do it after you get it installed whatever language you use in the version of your wordpress of course it shows me at this time recording 5.8.1 now on the wordpress administrator side this is where you need to put in whatever you need to in order to log in to your wordpress on the back end to be able to do any kind of configuration so just let it generate your passcode or put one in but make sure it's a good strong passcode like this very strong and i leave my email to my default one i've always do of course we're i'm not going to do this but i will let you know you could actually change the database name the table and user you can do all of this and that instead of being the default that it's assigned you could actually change it to something you remember or whatever and of course we got it where yes for all minor and major updates so we got it clicked where wordpress would actually be updated all the time and then we're going to define individually and we're going to click install all right as you can tell at the bottom is installing WordPress and this is pretty simple how it's working and once we get it installed we're going to show you how to access it the first time so it says a hundred percent WordPress was installed and it says installation complete and it's asking us that we want to take a minute and set it up I like this about Plask you could pretty much do most things inside of this control panel and it will bring this particular section up and as you can tell you can install anything you want to install if it if you don't see it you can type it in and bring it here i'm gonna give you an idea i want to install light speed cache and the reason you know everybody know i'm on that light speed little kick but light speed cache is a very good caching system and it actually will work for apache or you know nginx and that's uh another thing we're going to get into some other time so you can just go and click whatever plugin you want and click install it'll install it from 
Plask website. It'd be automatically on your WordPress. And when we go back in there, as you can tell, it shows to be installed. And if you got a certain theme you want, like right now, these are the ones that's already installed, the 2021 and 2020. But let's say we want to install something different or upload one, which I, I, I usually use DV or Elegant Themes theme. But let's say we don't want to upload. I'll show you. You can either go to upload and I'll show you how to, if I went to, I could just hit uh, DV zip. I could upload it, but I don't want to do it at this time. I'm, so what we're going to do, we just, we're just going to go and upload or install one that's already from WordPress. We're going to do Astra. That's a very good one itself. Six million plus active installs. As you can tell, Astra's installed. So right now, and of course, this is not all. You can do as much as you want, but we got Astra and we got Lightspeed Cache plugin installed. So we installed a theme and plugin onto this. So when we do go to our website, you can see it. And next, we're going to be doing the updates on, like, certificates and all this other stuff that we got. But I'm going to show you that it is installed and ready to go. Go to your website, whatever it is. In my case, it's codson.xyz forward slash wp hyphen admin. Click enter. Of course, it's going to bring us to this because we know it's not secure it's not we haven't installed any SSLs or anything at this time and just type this is unsafe and it will bring us into the back end of our WordPress website and the credentials you put in at the beginning is where you put here and once you get logged in It'll bring you to the back end of your WordPress website. And as you go down, you could tell I got Lightspeed Cache waiting on me already installed. I don't have to come and install it or anything. Now, there may be a... See, see these are the other two. We're going to talk about different things now. But see, it's already activated it and everything. So let's go to themes. See, it's got all the things. It's actually got DV in it because... Apparently, it uploaded DV when I put it in there. And also, Astra. And then if anyone you want to put, you only can have one at a time. You can activate the theme you want. Let's say we want to activate Astra. We got it activated. Now, Astra is your default theme. And we're going to talk about deleting uh, plugins or themes that we don't use in a later video. But I hope you enjoy this. Click the like, thumbs up, and subscribe button.